Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. She probably oh, didn't have time for it. No, I so didn't. Minimum and maximum level here on the master cylinder for fluid. We sucked a little bit of fluid out. When we collapse the pistons, fluid will come up in here, so we don't want it to overflow because brake fluid can damage paint. So there's a brake fluid lid. Okay. Screws on and screws off. Pretty darn simple. So we'll leave it off because we're going to check it at the end. And we'll uh, jack it up. Going up. We'll go up and we'll uh, take the wheels off and we'll check the calipers to make sure they're fine before we just replace the brake pads and rotors on a 2010 Ford Escape. 19 millimeter lug nuts, five of them. Jack up on the pinch weld. A metal here. That's really it. So jack it up, use safety stands, protect yourself. Brake pads. You can just put it on the ground next to you because we'll put them back on. So we're replacing the pads probably because of a brake pedal pulsation where the brake pulse is pulsing, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to uh, take this apart. We're going to put the screwdriver in one of the vanes and we're going to pull the screwdriver towards us. We want to collapse. That way? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, grab it. Because there's a piston in here and we want to collapse the piston to make sure it actually collapses. Let me see here. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead and pull. Just keep pulling steady pressure because it's going to, no, you're not going to break it. You're not messed up. You don't know me. Mm. Is this enough? Is it working? Is it moving? It we don't know if it's moving. Like it. All right, let's check it out. So that'll be a sign of a problem with the caliper then if it doesn't move. Can you hear it? Just need more leverage. <clears throat> yeah, so you collapse the piston a bit, and then you can tell if the slide, there's a slide up and down, there's a slide, there's a piston, or a, a bolt. Okay. Where are they? Like this? Uh, right here. There's a bolt here, and there's a bolt up here, and those are slides. So this should move back and forth, which it does, which is good. So that tells us the slides are not seized. We're gonna do the same for the other side. You wanna try the I'll get you a bigger screwdriver. <laughs> Put your hand in front of the spring. There you go, like that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Same same as the other side. Okay. Oh. So <laughs> that was uh sorry. That's the uh bleeder screw. Now you did it. Right. <laughs> Wrong thing. Get this off. This is what you're pulling off. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, just like that. And then we'll take all those bolts out. Yeah. At least forever. <laughs> you might be it. done too, maybe. Oh, you can see it? Yeah. All right. On the other side, we'll give you an air ratchet. It'll go fast like the air gun. So. It probably is. Right caliper slid off. We have two of these. We'll just clean these up with a little emery cloth or sandpaper or wire brush and then we'll put a little lubricant on them and they'll be good to go. One on each side. And also this pulls out friction fit. Like that. And this one just sits on here. Easy peasy. Then we'll take two bolts out for the bracket. <laughs> you have one more on the top that you can get. There's one more up here. Right. Little dust. The caliper's off. And then 
The rotor will just slide off and on. Easy. There you go, nothing to it. All right, so I actually want to finish collapsing the pistons. We're going to use a channel ox or a C clamp and collapse that so it's flat. So we can install the new pads. You doing the top bolt? Yeah. Right. Collapse the piston. We're going to throw a nice new rotor on there. Go ahead. Yep. These are coated rotors to protect against rust and corrosion and all that kind of stuff. Yes, beautiful. That's right. So you don't have to do anything, no cleaning re required, but some rotors will come with an oily film on it that you have to wash off to get the, it's like a prevent, preventing rust and corrosion, but these are uh, ones that you don't have to wash. So we got this on, and we're going to do the same for the other side. Pistons collapsed, so then we'll keep moving on. Good. So I have my wire brush here. So I clean up, clean up these spots. Do a little cleaning like that before we install it. And we have our slides. I'm also going to clean these up with the same wire brush. A little emery cloth, a little sandpaper just to make them smooth, get some of the black crud off there. Easy peasy. So we got some contact points here where the brake pad touches the brake caliper. So we're going to put some lubricant on these contact points. It'll just help prevent noise. So. Got our caliper brackets back on, 129 foot-pounds for those. Got the rotors on. Got a bolt just going to hold it in place. And we'll put our outer brake pad on. We'll put our inner brake pad in the caliper. Then we'll put some lubricant on our slides and reinstall them. And these were, uh, I think, 7 millimeter. And they have some caps that plug up the holes on the back side of the caliper. So you want to remove those if I didn't mention those caps. So... All right. One on this side. Just gonna drop in the inside. Or outside, yeah, you're right. Outside, I was misspoken. Look at that. It's installed. <laughs> Done. Because we have to push the fingers into the hole of the caliper. Oh, so you're gonna have to manhandle it in there, probably. So let's course. see if you can manhandle all three fingers. Yep. Should fix the gasket first. It'll probably just collapse when you push the thing in there. I'll give you about 30 seconds and I'll do it for you. I don't know, I got it. Because they are pretty uh, stout sometimes, those stupid springs. Oh. Boom. Nice. So that's perfect. So yep, then you can unmount the caliper from the uh, bungee. bungee cord. I watch a lot of the videos. Well, I watch several and they seem to be pretty conversational and that's not my uh, type of video. Mm -mm. And you see they just kind of fall in the slot as well. Yeah. And hopefully we collapsed the piston enough. Oh, yeah, we did. Look at that. That's pretty much it. We're going we're gonna to clean up the bolts. Oh, I guess That's right. We're going to clean up the bolts and put some lubricant on them, and then we'll put that spring in there, and then that'll be it. It just kind of drops into place. Yeah, I think that's that's good. I've got some of my lubricant. I'm just going to kind of put it in the hole here. Then when I put the, uh, I'm sorry, then when I put my bolts in there, it'll just pass the lubricant through. 
put a little lubricant also right on them if you want. Put some lubricant on them, and then they'll be plenty lubricated. And then we'll then put them in. Always start your uh, bolts. I'll start all nuts and bolts. Everything, start them by hand so you don't cross thread anything. And then we'll torque them down. So the idea, usually I put one of these fingers on its thing, and then you got to push up to re-engage it. Oh, actually... I'll let you just fiddle with it. See if you can get it back oh, in. Gosh. You can see the little fingers there? Yeah. And they catch in the hole. And then this pad needs to be here. And the other pad needs to be on the outside edge as well. Oh. That's why they're so hard to get off. Mm -hmm. There you go. I bet there's a tool for it, too. Oh. Boom! Did it work? We're, it's oh, close. It's yeah. Off. That's pretty close. There you go. That's nice. Nice. It popped into place. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Nicely done. Thank you. If I was going to be honest, I'd say I wasn't sure you're going to be able to do it, but you did. So, ha ha. That's all there is to it. Little fingers fitting the little grooves in there. So that's on. We'll take this lug nut off. These lug nuts will be 100 foot pounds of torque. Tighten them in a crisscross pattern. And we'll torque them down with the torque wrench. Right. We'll double check it with a torque wrench on the ground. Mm, that's that's fine. Anything over 100. All right. So we sucked out some fluid. We collapsed the pistons. Now it's right up to the max mark. We'll pump the brakes a few times to set the calipers in the right spot and verify the fluid. Add or subtract brake fluid as needed. Usually the cap tells you what to put in. Dot three brake fluid, like so. Again, step on the brake pad pedal a few times before you let anyone drive it. You will have a low brake pedal usually the first or second time. So that's a brake fluid. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on front brake pad replacement, front brake rotor replacement, 2010 Ford Escape. All right, last side, huh? Oh, Ben wants to do this side. He wants some yeah, fancy tools. Ben should use tools. Oh, 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 oh. It's $900 you're holding in your hands. Mm. This is so easy. Okay. Yeah, it's more like, this is probably just a $500 one. The smaller one was 400 I don't want you to overthink the tools. They're that expensive. <laughs> <laughs>